First look at Xiaomi EU 12.0.1.0 stable running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the features of Xiaomi EU version being 12.0.1.0 stable based on Android 10 and MIUI 12. For starters, we can go into settings, then we'll go into my device. Here it is, you can see that I am running Xiaomi EU and it is based on 12.0.1.0 MIUI 12 for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro which was released in China. Next up, if we swipe, we do have access to our application vault and this is the new app vault which does let you set a cover image in case you want to do that then if we activate our recents bam there it is recents in the building you can see on the top left we do have the option for floating windows and you can open whatever app you want to open in the floating window and you do get a pop-up tip on how to close it here it is that is how you close the floating window and you can of course get a detailed tutorial about floating window if you go into settings special features floating windows and here it is you have a complete tutorial on how to use floating windows next up you do have animated icons baked in as well so bam here it is you can see that the settings icon is animated let us try the gallery one bam there it is the gallery icon is also animated and of course the launcher which is baked in does let you animate third party icons as well we can now go into settings and look at the other customizations which xiaomi eu brings to the table so if you go into connection and sharing and then you go into cast you do have the option of casting and this is the new universal cast by xiaomi which also allows you to hide your private items wherein it is not going to display floating notifications of incoming calls and other private items on the device you are casting to then we also have the new ui so if i go into my device and there it is you can see a pretty cool animation in the storage tap on storage another dope animation and if you tap on these items you can see that it does tell us that what is using how much amount of space so right now you can see that documents is using 17.3 gb you have this new ui baked in everywhere you can also go into battery and performance there it is the new ui and while we are in battery do note you do have ultra battery saver mode as well and you can also view your battery usage stats you have two different graphical representations this is the second one and this here is the first one you can of course view it on an hourly basis as well to see what application was draining battery during that specific hour next up we can dive into always on display and lock screen so yes for the redmi k20 pro and the xiaomi mi 90 pro they have amoled panels which means you can have always on display and once you enable it you can display it all the time and it works absolutely fine now a feature which xiaomi eu has added is turn off when lying in the dark so if the phone detects that your phone is in the dark it will just turn off always on display because you know maybe you are sleeping and it is a great way to save battery now if you tap on style you do get the option of adding your own image from the gallery and that is pretty nifty other than that here are the different aod styles you can add and you also have some chinese ones because do note that the base rom for this xiaomi eu build is miui 12 from china so you have a lot of chinese aod themes baked in as well now another feature which has been added with miui 12 is a lock screen clock format so these three existed from before this one is the one which they have added so this is a new lock screen clock format which was added with miui 12 and you can also change your charging animation so you have four options first one is off then you have flow then you have glow and you also have wave so you have four different charging animation options next up we can dive into display you go into brightness level you do have a toggle for sunlight mode now this only works if you have disabled automatic brightness and this is going to adjust the brightness to strong ambient light 
when automatic brightness is off so you can use this when you are outdoors going into color scheme you still have the old ui over here and in anti flicker mode also you have the old ui then you do have dark mode 2.0 wherein the wallpaper can adjust to dark mode you can schedule it in case you want to you also have third party app support for dark mode and it can also adjust the contrast automatically when brightness is reduced moving over to system font the system font by default is roboto however you can download more from the theme store in case you want to next up is status bar so you have all these different options and yes you do have the new control center so if i swipe from the right here it is new control center in the building with animated icons in the control center as well there it is the plane icon is animated and it works absolutely fine and if i swipe down from the left this is my notifications now in case you want to switch the control center side you have a toggle for that as well so now if i swipe down from the left i get my control center and from the right i get my notifications so this is a nifty feature for those of you who are left handed and in case you do not like the control center you can just disable it and bam we are now back to the old school style which we used to get in miui 11. next up we can move over to sound so in sound you do not get the option of sound assistant something which was present in beta builds of miui 12 which were released in china they did not make it to the stable build which was released you can also of course set up profile videos for incoming calls go into additional settings and you have toggles for these different options along with the option to disable screenshot sound and if you go into sound effects you do have hi-fi audio and you can assign buttons to your earplugs nothing much to talk about in notifications you have the same old which you used to get in miui 11 moving over to home screen so yes you do get the new system launcher and if you tap on home screen you have the new ui so this is miui launcher 4.18 or above and you can of course configure your swipe up on home screen and you can also choose your search provider another nifty feature here is minus one screen so you can of course get your google feed as well in case you do not want to use application vault you do have double tap on the lock screen and the feature which i was talking about is global icon animations if you enable it it is going to render animations for third party app icons as well moving over to wallpaper what are the different options to get in wallpaper so you have my wallpapers and you have system wallpapers along with live wallpapers so what are these live wallpapers well these live wallpapers are wallpapers which are from the themes which are baked in so if i swipe there it is you can see that how we have animation effect on the wallpaper so this is a live wallpaper going back into wallpaper you also have super wallpapers baked in so you have both of them earth and the mars super wallpaper and it does let you choose a location for the mars one let's see if it lets us choose a location for the earth one and bam it does let you choose a location for the earth one as well and there it is apply it apply it successfully and working like a boss looks pretty cool and pretty dope however does come with the side effect of draining excessive battery next up we can go into themes so if you tap on my themes you have different themes now rhodium classic limitless and default these have been there for ages the ones other than that are the new ones which allow aod theming so let's try charming city if you tap on build you will see that it has the option of always on display let us apply the theme and bam there it is it was applied successfully here it is you can see that i do have a cool animation on my home screen we can try out the always on display there it is that is how your always on display looks like and this is how your lock screen looks like pretty cool right and if you unlock the device a pretty smooth animation over there we can try another of these themes which support always on display theming so let's go back into my themes and which one should we try let us try this one now the text is still in chinese and you can of course use google lens to translate it anyways you can see a person is walking on the top right and you have a cool animation for your always on display with a fish coming and this is how your lock screen looks like there it is the person is walking here as well unlock the device and bam here it is so these are the new themes which they have added with miui 12 
And while we are talking about themes, we can also go and open the themes application. And you do get the new themes application, which has option for wallpapers, dynamic wallpapers, ringtones, fonts, theming you are always on display, getting more icons. So these are the different options which you get in the themes app now. Do note it is going to use MIUI China store for your themes application. Next up, we can go into the permission option. So if you go into privacy protection, you do have getting starts from all the applications. So here it is, you can see a complete log of what permission was accessed by what application and works absolutely fine. You do have the option of permission notifications. Once you enable this, if there is any application which is going to access your location, record audio or take photos you will get a notification in your status bar about it if you tap on manage you can manage all the permissions which you want to like say sms what app has access to sms what app has access to the phone application so you can configure all those options over here and you also have the option of configuring a virtual id so instead of your real identifier me i will provide a virtual ID for third party applications and this is pretty cool feature along with the option to restrict background camera usage so restrict background camera usage there it is MIUI won't let apps to use your camera in the background and this I think is a great security feature we already covered battery and performance and the fact that you do have ultra battery saver mode baked in moving over to additional settings so if you go into full screen display you can of course get full screen gestures you can hide the ugly bar at the bottom and no i don't want to learn it there it is the bar is hidden and you can swipe up from the corner for google assistant and have a look at that immersive experience which you get once you hide that ugly bar at the bottom and yes you can swipe up from the edge and it is going to activate your google assistant of course you do not get google assistant 2.0 because that is a pixel exclusive for now Going back into additional settings, we can now go into button shortcuts and you do have three finger screenshot, but the feature of partial screenshot did not make its way to this stable build. Next up, we have screen time. So yes, you have the new UI for screen time with a dashboard and you can of course have a limit for daily screen usage. If you tap on focus mode, you can set up focus mode as well and you can try it for a minute in case you want to and these are the different duration options you get so you get 30 60 and 90 and if you click on the plus sign you can enter a duration of anywhere between 20 and 180 minutes in case you're not happy with 30 60 and 90 minutes next up is special features so you do have game turbo this is how it looks like then you have video toolbox as well so video toolbox is something which opens a floating window in applications which you choose so i have chosen the gallery application and this is how video toolbox looks like you can record screenshot cast and play a video in the background so this play video sound with screen off is useful for playing youtube videos with the screen turned off and if you tap on style you can change your screen colors so right now it is set to original you can say outdoor cinema retro or black and white so this is another additional feature which they have added in video toolbox and if you tap on any of these applications which show up they will open in a floating window so let's say we try the browser application bam there it is browser opened in the floating window and of course you have a separate tutorial on how to use floating windows which can be found in settings and special features there it is floating window you do have front camera effects so you can customize the different sounds which you get when the front camera pops out you have second space and miui lab the feature which did not make it to the stable build is light mode so that option is missing moving over to the applications you do get the new weather app which responds to the weather outside we already talked about the themes application which does let you theme your always on display in case you want to do that and moving over to the calendar application you have the new calendar application with the new cards ui and then we move over to the file manager application you have the new file manager application as well with all the text options which you get on top the security application is also the new one with a cool animation on the top and a utilities tab next up we have the clock application so this is still the old one 
the new one has a UI which has text on top something similar to what we have in the files application but it looks like it did not make its way to Xiaomi EU build moving over to the camera application so yes you have the new camera application the one which lets you theme your camera UI so we can go into camera settings so we can go into customize for starters you can have different feature layouts and then if you go into colors right now you can see that the accent colors are set to yellow these are the different options which you have so let us try blue tap on apply and now if we go back to the camera ui you can see that the camera accent colors have now changed to blue going back into customize you can also configure your camera modes so do you want a more tab or do you want a more panel these are the two different options which you get and with the more panel you just have to swipe up from the small bar which you see and bam there it is you can see that we have the more panel as well another nifty feature which you will find in the camera application is quick snap mode so let us go into camera settings quick snap mode is set to photograph here it is my gallery application no pictures right now now let us turn the screen off and once the always on display kicks in or the screen is turned off long press the volume down button you will hear a click and a vibrate in case you are in dnd mode it will only vibrate and going into the gallery application bam here it is we just took two photographs with the screen turned off next up we can check out the gallery application so for starters if i try to say send this picture i now have the option of sending it without sharing my location info and without sharing any metadata about the picture then if you go into memories you do have a full-fledged video editor baked in that is of course going to download it from the internet and once it is downloaded you have a pretty cool video editor and last but not the least you also have new filters which have been added so if you have a picture of a sky just download the new filters and it is going to add some super cool effects to your static photographs now in terms of smoothness well the rom is pretty smooth i personally haven't seen any jitters or any lags as for the benchmark scores here are the benchmark scores on your screen right now and as i always say do not judge a rom by its benchmark scores try it out and see what works best for you and there it is peeps that was our first look at the features of Xiaomi EU build of MIUI 12 based on MIUI 12.0.1.0 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you